Welcome to PAX Unplugged 2019, and I'm with... Tom, from Cosmos Games. So, I played Immotep, the board game, before. Yes. Uh, how does the duel... Tell me about duel. How does it capture the feeling from the game? So, it does capture a lot of the same feelings of building one of these ancient uh, monuments in, in Egypt, but the way it does it is just a little bit different, and in my opinion, I think it's worth owning both of them for that difference, which I think is important. Um, in the base game, you and up to uh, three other people, so four people total, are building on communal sites. Like, you're all working together to build a pyramid, but in this one, it's all about you. You're trying to collect the specific tiles that you need for the pyramid on your very own site board. So, instead of building it together and scoring points immediately, you're trying to acquire as much as you can on your board, and then you score at the end. Uh, and the way that you uh, collect them is also one of the more interesting things about the, the duel. It has this uh, three by three grid that uh, you can use to acquire boats or uh, cargo from boats, and it, 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 it almost feels like a game of chicken because, like, you put your worker or you know, like worker placement thing, you put it here, and then you can you can try and get blocked or block the other person because the way the boats unload is, is on that column or grid system. It actually plays really easy and really quick, uh, about 20 minutes tops. It's, it's really simple because on your turn you have one of three choices. You can take one of your little meeples and put it on any of these open spots in the harbor. And once there's enough meeples on the board, you can do your second option, which is to unload one of the boats in a column or a row. So if on my turn I unload this, the white uh, meeple player will get these two tokens, whereas the black meeple player will get this one. Also, if this one gets unloaded, the black meeple player will get those two. Acquiring those means they go on your sight boards, and all these sight boards are going to score a little bit different, but you can notice pretty easily where the tokens would go. Like this, for instance, is an obelisk, and that's going to go in your obelisk sight. Um, so your third option, on your turn, and the final option is if you acquire one of these blue tiles, and this kind of acts like a card from the original game, but if you acquire this on a later turn, you can have almost like a super turn where you can do more or better things. But it does take that turn, and it does take getting that tile. So it's it's an interesting way of like really gaming this this system, which can can get pretty cutthroat. But because it's so quick. It feels pretty light to me.